this is our reference it starts from frame 1 to frame 25 so i'm going to add my timeline to frame 25 and i'm going to use key i'm going to location rotation and scale and i'm going to use auto key so first as you check the reference here the right foot is in front and the left foot is in back like this and i'm going to select the foot here and rotate it and this one i'm going to rotate the foot here to be like that now i'll select the torso and bring it down so that it will not pop the knee this is nice To select both of the eye key and bring so that it will align character will be aligned at the center now I'm going to pose the hands so we do the right hand and this one it's at back the hand and the forearm I'm going to bend it like this and for the left hand, I'm going to do the same. But this one has to be front. So select the forearm and let's rotate it like that. Now we get our face. We select A, use A to select all, and I to insert key. All the controls here now let's go to frame 25 and insert another key there so that means uh, that animation is going to be looped so we check from the reference here the frame 1 is the same as the frame 25 you see the codes they are the same so frame 1 is the same as frame 25 so what we are going again is so now let's go to frame 13 so you see frame 13 is a flip of frame 1 and frame 25 so i'm going to copy frame 1 and paste it on frame 13 so let's go to frame 13 and if you go to your top sheet and you press a to select all your rig if because of the rig has key on frame 1 you can select use right mouse to select the frame 1 key and go to key and copy keyframe and key again and paste frame so now when you press play you see uh, it's looping you have this looping animation like this and this is nice so now let's go to uh, let's go to frame 7 which is the passing pose so on frame 7 we're going to do the passing so here i have to reset the hair so out pass out to reset the hair rotation for the right leg and for the left leg i'm going to reset the hair one and select the foot and bring it up so this frame 7 so rotate it like that to match the reference So now let's select the torso and I'll bring the torso down like this. So now for for the hands, I have to bring this one back and then rotate this. And for the left hand, let me bring it forward and rotate the hand this one the forearm now select all of them and i to insert key on frame 7 so now if you check the reference here frame 7 is the same as the frame 16 the flip version of frame of uh, the flip version of frame 19 so we see here frame 7 is the flip of frame 19 so let's go to the top sheet go to keys and copy keyframes so now let's let's go to frame 19 and go to keys again and paste flip so 
and now you see we have this now let's go to another frame again so here we are going to frame maybe frame 10 so let's go to frame 10 this frame 10 and let's post this so here i'm going to reset the foot here and rotate it up small and this one i'm going to reset the foot here and rotate it to be this and for here the hands is almost passing by so let's leave it like that and select all and i to insert key again now you see frame 10 this frame 10 is the flip of frame 22 so let's go to frame 22 and let's go to our top sheet so this top sheet and let's copy frame 10 so key copy frame and paste flip so we see frame 10 the flip of frame 22 now let's go to frame 4 so on frame 4 all the foot is on the ground so this is what I'm going to do is select the left foot and bring it down and I'm going to rotate this but plus out to reset the foot here and make it touch the ground now this one has to be on the ground this is the down pull so I'm going to select the torso and press shift and then we can move it down and it will go in a small increment now here select the right hand and bring it back Now let's select all of them and I to insert key again on frame 4. Uh, do sheet again. So on frame 4 is the flip of frame. Uh, you see 4 is the flip of frame 16. So you see 4 is the flip of frame 16. So let's go to frame 16 and right click on frame 4 key and go to key and copy and paste frame. Now let's place play and see. So this is what we have now. So now let's go and face this jumping and other stuff. So let's go to the graph. Now let's select the torso and so you see the torso you are only moving it on Z axis. You are moving it on Z axis. So I'm going to hide all of them and enable the only Z location. Select and then let's. now we have to smooth out the the, uh, the graph. So I'm going to move this chain and move it so that it will smooth. And you see here, let me smooth it again. Bring it up. So here I'm going to bring this up small. Select both of this and bring it up. And let me see. Yes. So we can select all of them and use Alt plus S and we can use the smooth Gaussian and let's smooth it up. And let's see what we have. So we see this is nice. Now let's face the hands. So here dance is doing only rotation. So let's enable the rotation. Let's start from the S cotanian rotation and let's see what is wrong here. So let's make sure the curve is smooth. So I'm 
Eventually, you will move this down and this one. Now you can move to the left hand, idle, and just enable the X button. And here it can smooth out. So now let's go to our timeline and we see it's, uh, the animation is checking it doesn't look perfect smooth. so what i'm going to do is go to frame one select all i and then insert frame frame one go to frame 25 and i frame 25 and select the frame one and press ctrl plus c and ctrl plus v to paste it here and now let's end our timeline on frame 24 and c now you see now it's moving perfectly and it loops so now what you're going to do is you're going to add some rotation to the chest and and the hips so to do so what i'm going to do is let's go to frame one and i'm going to delete all the the chest rotation and this, this is the hips rotation and I'm going to delete also the chest rotation the chest my the keyframes all the keyframes from the chest I have deleted them all so on frame one I'm going to insert key and go to frame 25 let's go to frame 25 let's end the 25 and insert another key here so here the chest will be pointed at this foot like we see the reference here so i'm going to rotate it to be facing here now we have to make sure that king is the same one so control plus c and paste it here so frame one is the same as frame 25 and now let's see on frame 10 it's a return hot pass out to reset the rotation and now frame 16 let's go to frame 16 you see here it was pointed at the side so let me rotate it now let's play and see now everything is looking nice so now let's go to the uh, the hips so the hips on frame you will see which Foot was on the ground, which foot is on the ground. So we go here. I will do that on the passing pose. So on the passing pose, I will rotate the chest, uh, the hips to be on the to to add weight to the the foot on the ground, and I will go to passing post you see on frame the passing post on frame 19 and on frame 19 then I will take the, the hips to be on this so here let's see where we have the passing post it's supposed to be on frame 7 so I'm going to move this one to frame 7 now let's go to here Out pass out to reset and out pass out. So now we see we have smooth hips movement or rotation here. Now, guys, this is going to be the end of the, this tutorial. So, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. You see.